Boom, the Arcal Ultra 50 liter backpack. After the AT through hike, let's see how this thing held up and if it can continue to take a beating. Let's go. Boom. Oh, okay. Little owl right off the bat. Okay, um, you're here to see the review for the Arc Hall Ultra. We're trying something different. Sun's down, yeah. right? So I'm uh, gonna test out the S23 Ultra's capability in the evening. So that's uh, kind of a dual thing here, but let's talk about this. This is a 50 liter, right? Um, if you're new to the channel, I go, uh, I pretty much rate the through hiking gear on four uh, criteria and specifically in this order, build quality, weight, packability, and function, each holding a value of five for a total score of 20. Unicorn is here, that is right, with Wookie. We just got done hiking the Appalachian Trail, okay. and it is time really to get into the gear review. We'll start off with build quality, but before I do that, I wanna discuss what I had around my neck here when I did the review here in bits and pieces during the day. This is around my neck, you know what that is? That's Appalachian Threads, at Appalachian.Threads on Instagram specifically. They send us a bunch of stuff after the hike and, yes. a, and a, on, we'll talk about it on the outro, okay? Yes. So Appalachian Threads, thank you very much. We're gonna wrap this. We got a bunch of swag from you, but let's talk about the Arc Hall Ultra, specifically the 50 liter, 60 liter, I mean, that's material. Let's talk about it. Let's start with build quality. Let's go, peace. All right, for build quality, let's just go through briefly here a pan of the pack, the front of it. And as you can see right there, there's no visible damage to the screen, no visible damage to the front of the pack. And as you can see here on the back of the pack, I flipped it back, there was no damage up here near the strap area that I can find, no actually damage to the screen at all. But the one point I wanted to talk about was not this side, this side was put together pretty well. This side here. So I just think that it was a matter of wear and tear. Um, early on, as you can see, there was a little rip here. I think when I put it in someone's car, it kind of tore. And that's a pretty critical piece because that piece comes right to the pack and it holds the pack together. But that held, I think that was like in the third week that rubbed up against it, but that one held up pretty well. If you look at the bottom piece right here, you're not going to be able to see the hole and the break, but right there at the bottom, there's a slit. And what that slit did was there's a carbon piece, which is the arc that runs it. You run straight up to this top piece, and that's what creates the arc. Here, I can bring out the carbon piece right here. So this part right there goes in. That creates the arc. It flew through. So as I was jumping and jumping and jumping down from rock, it, it eventually was creating stress and tsh, tsh, and it was sewn together well. So I think the craftsmanship was certainly there, but I think eventually it just poked through. Um, and that to me was a little bit ding on the build quality in my experience, contrast with Unicorn not having any issues on hers. And eventually I had to take out the other side of the arc and also the middle carbon piece. So I would actually, in essence, take away the whole arc function and just run with a pack without a frame. I had to do that near the end in terms of the arc hall. Uh, the arc hall grid stop edition on the PCT, I actually had that problem right here when the carbon fell out. Again, in contrast, Unicorn having no issues, but me always having the carbon issues about a month before the hike ends. But we can talk about that in the outro, where right, about a month right before everything ends, the carbon pieces start to fall through on my pack. I handle a little bit more rigorously than Unicorn as well. But here, as you can see up at the top, no damage, hole through hike, AT, ultra material. Belt, connecting to the front utility pack accessory, fine, here, fine. And we'll check out the inside of the pack here. Shoulder straps, chest straps that were really abused. You know, you're rushing, you're pulling, you're cinching. And right here, everything held up well. Let's check out the inside of the pack next. Boom, just to show you in real time, this is it. We had a liner from Gossamer Gear, right? The liner that goes in the pack, we did. 
but I really want to check out the inside of the pack. You can see here, I'm going to show you the inside of the bag, this ultra material. I'm going to get in there, bear with, I put my headlamp on, but I really want to get in depth inside of the bag. As you can see, it seems to be holding up, right? There was no holes. There's no really bad wear and tear. Again, I had the liner in there, but that's holding up pretty well after a through hike. Boom. So let's talk about the build quality score. Everything I put this thing through, you know, the whole AT in 23 here, Georgian and Maine, at the end there was a lot of rain, rigor. The screen held up. Actually, there were no holes, as I explained before, inside, out. Uh, besides the carbon, and again, I had that same experience to a, a certain degree on the PCT with the older version of the Arc Hall, the grid stop, not the Ultra Edition, but just to balance it out, Unicorn, two through hikes, two Arc Halls, no issues. You can see the arc is still there. You can see the carbon is still there. Rental, two through hikes, arc haul, grid stop, ultra edition here. This is the 50 liter. Unicorns is the 60 liter. It's a matter of material at that point. And I've got, you know, a few things coming through. With that said, honest opinion, I'm going to give build quality a three out of five. I still find that to be a phenomenal score for build quality in terms of a full through hike, beating up, beating it up the way I do, having heavy camera equipment here, hanging off the side, tons and tons of equipment on this side as well. This is in addition to the pack on the shoulder straps. And then of course, you know, the way I loaded it, I put the triplex up top. I just, three out of five to me is a phenomenal score for build quality for a, certainly for a through hikers backpack and the way I treat my backpack. Maybe I could be a little bit more gentle with it, you know, when I'm loading it into cars and out of cars, but build quality three out of five, Let's check out weight. What's next? Weight, right? Next is weight. We waited. Not too much. Down below, check out the lighter pack. I uh, weighed the pack before I left. Now there's all kinds of attachments and stuff on it. Check out the weight down there below. I'll put it up on the screen and uh, we'll move on from weight. Peace. Boom. That wasn't so bad, was it? Not a long weight, but 20.31 ounces lighter pack description down below the links down below i weighed it before i left i didn't want to wait now i have all kinds of things on it and tags and at tags and pd clips and uh so that is a phenomenal weight to me i'm going to give the weight a five out of five score i did my due diligence and i was comparing all around with all the features and everything that i wanted that is a phenomenal weight for a 50 liter pack 20.31 ounces five out of five Let's get into packability next. Boom. Next is packability. Unicorn. So packability, how it, I guess for a backpack, it's really about like flying and transporting it from one spot to the next. How did yeah. it go in the bins? It, it fits like, in the overhead, so over I would say it's pretty packable. It is pretty packable. Let's see what the in-depth review yeah. says about that. I'll go back to the lab, uh, back to the studio. It was kind of hot out here, so I had to take everything on the inside to do kind of the in-depth stuff without getting all the sun glare. So enjoy the white wall. <laughs> Boom, packability it is. Again, once again, for contrast, Unicorn's 60 liter. The arc is still intact, as you can see right there. Carbon beams here, fly. Boom, put it right in the overhead bin, you're fine. If you find yourself in a situation where you want it smaller, I guess you can take out the beams like I did. I wouldn't suggest it, here are the carbon the arc is right here, clearly. Took it out. And you can really get this son of a gun pretty tight. I mean, packability for the arc haul. Look at that. Put it right into another pack. So yeah, packability, simple five out of five. Let's see what's in store for function. Boom, function. Function. Yes, function is the next topic at hand. There's things in the woods back here at night. We need to do more stuff at night back that's here. That's an extra vote for function. That is an extra vote for function, absolutely. Um, but yeah, you know, you put it on, do all this, boogie around, back to the lab. Let's see what function. Boom, let's talk function of the arc hall. I'm gonna start real basic. For me personally, I attach it to the straps here, some function to the straps. I have my PD clip. I'm shooting with the Sony ZV-1 right now, but I had it hanging here for a quick access on the right side. It worked great. This is the second through hike it's worked with. That whole technique right there. On the right side, I have my accessory here from Z-Packs as well. 
it held the DJI Action 2 early on in the hike when I had it up here. I, I stored it here and then later on decided to put it down here in the foot, but we'll get to that in a bit. But later on I put the cell phone and the recharging kit up here as well. And I switched everything down here to the front utility pack accessory, the FUPA right here, as you can see, it connects right to the backpack. It's a great mechanism. Um, and I'll show you here, I'll disconnect it here on this pack and pull up unicorns so you can see. On unicorns right here, as you can see the hip belt and the pieces connect right in. Boom, and you tighten it and it becomes one. But the great part is once you get to town, there's a separate strap and you can connect it to the FUPA and boom, you have yourself a mini fanny pack to walk around town with. But then on trail, you get it back on, boom, it's right down. So I kept a lot of pieces in there, including all of my microphone equipment, that of which I'm shooting with right now. Um, but let's continue on function. Uh, Bee Free, I had the Bee Free right here on my left, which is a water filter. Left side, right side was my drink bottle. Um, and as you can see, Unicorn, just for different function, had the bottle holder on the shoulder strap. So she accessed her bottle up front. I just had a lot of tech. I couldn't do it this time. So I had to keep the bottle on the side. I was able to, if you can't get to it, trust me, two weeks, three weeks on trail, you'll get your skills down to be able to do that. It takes a little bit of stretching. But that was function on the side pockets. The screen's super big. I mean, it, I just shoved everything in there. If anyone ever saw me on trail, maybe I'll put a clip. I had everything in there. And then also the V-strap, and I'll put a clip in there uh, where I held the triplex. 50 liter, I packed it a little bit differently than when I had the 60 liter grid stop edition on the PCT when I carried the triplex. This time I decided to, to go 50 liter and carry triplex on the outside wet trail. I can get in that another time why I decided to carry it on the outside, but I'll put that clip here in the background while I'm jabbering. So that is function. I can't really think of any other function besides that. There's these little strings here at the bottom, at the back as well, where I put, uh, and I just tightened up a little Gossamer gear, that foam pad at the bottom I kept there. And last but not least, I want to talk about the most important function to me. I put on Unicorn's pack because she's still got the carbon in there. You see that little spacing in there? Right there, little, little spacing. Got it there on both sides, see that? That to me, is the arc, right? That's the air. And to me, when I lost that, it really affected me because it really started to kick up the, the sweatometer, right? And uh, when we talk about that, we can talk about that a little bit. And when I felt dehydrated, you know, the less sweat, the better, right? So I'm just gonna go there. Not, not doctor, not giving you super advice, but if you're not sweating, that's a good thing. And that's what the arc does is it provides that airflow so it's not right up against your back and you just, you're building that perspiration and there's more electrolytes and there's more of that vicious cycle that we're trying to get away from. So to me, the arc was a big thing. That was a huge function. Everything that we just went in, all the things that you can do, all the weight, build quality, weight, packability and function. When you put all that together, it really is a nice marriage, but I'll give function a five out of five. Boom. All right, so the final score is, um, Build quality was three out of five. Mm -hmm. Weight, packability, and function were each perfect out of five out of five. Al well, agrees. Something out there and Al agrees. So mm -hmm. that's what, 18 out of 20? 18 out of 20. Yeah, so that is absolutely happiest known time. Um, perfect score, not necessarily there. I know both through hikes, I had issues with the carbon for me personally, but Unicorn U, two through hikes, grid stop, and ultra material for the arc haul. They, they held up fine. I didn't have any, any breakages at all. Yeah, so, you know, we did the PC Teen 21 and here 1823, Unicorn, no issues, but rental, always issues with the carbon, always like around a month out of finishing the through hike it goes, but I wouldn't um, trade it for anything else right now. It's happiest on time for me. That, that arc means a big deal. That's a big deal, that function. The airflow, yeah. it, it does make a big difference. Absolutely, and I want to bring that topic up to end this um, on the arc hall. When I got to... Um, going into Monson when I got uh, dehydrated. That, that episode where Tony D and I called Tony D and I couldn't even keep myself up and it was the first night. Um, it was pretty dramatic, but I was pretty dehydrated. My back was drenched and that was, you know, I, this is probably a month out that I was missing the carbon when I took the carbon pieces out. Um, yeah. And I felt my back drenched and I thought to myself, like the, the arc means a lot to me. So like less sweat, less propel, less mm -hmm. of that cycle. 
You know what I mean? So um, the Arc is an awesome, awesome product. Uh, yeah. But with that said, two-year warranty, I think you go to zpacks.com, um, get to update information on the warranty and stuff, and I'm sending it back in. And uh, repair you know, it. get it repaired. It's, it's, it's just a my, little hole that went through yep, the bottom. Yeah. It was really all that happened. It was great labor. I just feel like, um, and, and great seams and all that, I just felt like when I kept jumping down, the carbon just kept pushing down. So yeah. maybe yeah. less on the craft and more, maybe, I don't know if it can get thicker than at the bottom, but yeah. again, that's a through hike, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it lasted. And I got there and we got to Katahdin. So um, typically to put something through that big of a mess and still come back in this great a shape not one rip screen mm -mm. anyway um, all the straps held up our call for the win that's definitely happiest known time, happiest known time. Uh, we're going to catch you on the outro uh, out here for some extra footage but in terms of the our call happiest known time baby boom outro time so let's update everyone out here on the tail end of this gear review this is how we're going to do it that way we don't have to toss too many videos out we can kill two birds with one stone or feed two birds with I don't know, one piece of food. How about that? We don't want to kill the birds. We're birders. We're birders. Um, so let's go. So let's talk about Appalachian Threads. They can be found at, at Appalachian.threads, first of all. Yes. They gave us a lot of swag. Thank you so much, you Rainbow and Lost John. You guys are awesome. Yes, for sure. Uh, we saw them where at what area? Unicorn? Right at Neil Gap. We uh, They were bringing some hikers back to trail, and Rainbow was full of colors and... Me being unicorn, I, I loved it so much, and she uh, sent us a whole bunch of awesome stuff. They put well, together a whole care package. Look at this swag. Look at those earrings. Earrings, boom. Look at, they match. Yes, they do, right? Check this out. Postcard, stickers. Stickers. Postcard, stickers, and I'll tell you what, you got all kind of business cards. Oh, here it is. Look at that beautiful necklace. And we'll put the information up later. <gasps> Thank you guys so much. Look at that That's awesome so nice. necklace, awesome. But you know what? What's my favorite thing besides the postcards and this all the, the fun stuff? This is the best part. This is the best part right here. Boom. This little letter that reads, Handwritten note. Dear Unicorn and Rental, congratulations finishing your through hike. You know? I don't know, this might be too bright. There it is. There it is. I really love getting to meet you that day at Neil Gap and being able to follow your adventure and photos. We wanted to send you a little congratulations surprise. Enjoy. We hope one day our paths will cross again. Much love. Happiest known time. Happiest oh, known yeah. time. Oh, yeah. They caught us right at the beginning when things were starting to form. We didn't get our trail legs yet. You know, happiest known time was still really in its infancy yeah. still. We're just tossing out stickers for the first time, exchanging stickers. You guys saw the episodes early on. Yeah. What a lovely couple. But, yeah, they also have um, the hostel. Don't forget. Hidden Pond Hostel. Hidden Pond Hostel. Hidden, yeah, check them out. HiddenPondHostel.com. But I'll put the information up there as well. Uh, but that's awesome. I want to talk so about nice. some... So nice. Thank you guys so, so much. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much for that, no doubt. Uh, as I'm running through here, um, Happiest Known Time store is getting up. We're going to just put stickers up there for now. I'm getting mm -hmm. my Shopify account, and I'm just going to try to take, get it up and just get the legs moving. But we're looking at one um, specialty item. I'm talking to my sister about it. That's the manufacturing. So that one specialty item for hiking, we're not sure what it's really gonna be yet and what we're gonna manufacture and slap that happiest known time thing on there and put that up on the store. But that's uh, more to come. So that's work in progress. Um, also, Nicole, right? Jukebox. Jukebox, thank you for the postcard. Boom, happiest known time. This is proof when you're on trail, when you're on Appalachian Trail. Doesn't matter how long you spend time with them, doesn't no matter where. It was like right at the end for right a very- then coming, met them actually after we summited Katahdin and coming down uh, the A-Ball Trail. Yep. We really got to talk to them the whole way down and then we stayed at the hostel with them and you know, she's such a nice person and they were such a nice family. It was- Yes. It, Great that we still got to meet them, even if it was just at the end. Yeah, wrote us some nice stuff on the back there. It's beautiful. So shout out to, to, to Jukebox, really, really good stuff. I don't know if I can cover everything, what we're really doing in the future, I don't know. Um, maybe end of September, early October, I, I don't know. Some trail magic somewhere. I think there's gonna be a run of happiest known time trail magic coming on through. Um, but we're, we're taking it day by day right here. Hope you enjoyed the gear review. Uh, we spent time with you. Tested out the S23 at night, the S23 Ultra at night. Of course, mm -hmm. we're using the DJI mics. Uh, but um, it seems like it's doing a good job. We got a little Wookiee here, Wookie. unicorn. It's happiest no time. It's all love. Yes, it is. We're taking it day by day. And um, I tell you what, we'll see what's in store for rental and unicorn, for unicorn and rental. I don't know, next week, week and, and a half, and Wookiee. 
we'll see what we'll see what's in store. I don't know what else is up for review, uh, what we have going on, but I think there's some trail magic brewing. Anyway, peace everyone. It's been really fun. We're taking it day by day. It got really dark. Yeah. Yes, it did. It got dark. Hey. Thank you.